Welcome back. So we're talking about the SVD and how you can use it uh, to decompose high-dimensional data matrices X. And this is the Python demo of the eigenfaces use of the SVD. So this is one of my favorite examples. If X is a matrix, which is a library of images of human faces, so each column is a human face, like a picture of a person's face that's been reshaped into a tall, skinny vector. And so I have a bunch of these columns, a bunch of images of people. Then you can use the SVD, or more precisely, the mean-centered SVD, the, the principal component analysis of that data, to find a new representation for human faces that we call the eigenface representation. Okay, so we're going to walk you through that here. Um, all of this code and the data uh, can be downloaded at databookuw.com. This is based on the Yale Faces B data set that was collected. Um, this is a very, very interesting data set. So they had a geodesic dome, and a person could sit in the middle. And in this geodesic dome, there were a bunch of lights that would flash at different angles and cause different shadows to be cast on the person's face. And in a two-second interval, 64 different lighting configurations would flash, and 64 images of that person would be taken. And so those 64 images are 64 columns in this X matrix, and we have those 64 images for 38 individual people. So this is truly a massive data set. Uh, I believe each image has resolution of about 32,000 pixels, and there are something like 2,400 of those images. So it's a really, really big X matrix, and we're going to factor it using the SVD. Okay? Uh, you can download this data, allfaces.mat. It's in a zip file uh, on this website. So we're going to load it. Uh, we're going to figure out what the size of it is. And in this video, I'm just going to show you what the data looks like. And in the next video, we're going to compute the SVD and start interpreting these uh, eigenfaces. Okay? So here, I'm just going to create, um, I'm going to show you the first 36 people, their faces tiled uh, in a six by six array. Okay, so that's what this is here. This all persons is a big array uh, of images. Okay, and so if I run that, this is what you find. These are the 36 people, the first 36 people in this eigenfaces database. Okay, and so we're going to use these 36 people in this X matrix to build a lot, an eigenface basis, an orthogonal basis that you can represent all human faces in. And remember I told you there were actually 38 faces? We're gonna hold out two of those people and we're gonna see how good the basis that is derived from these 36 people, how good that basis is in predicting uh, those, those next two people. Okay, good. So these are all of the individuals. And remember for each individual, we actually have um, 64 pictures at different lighting conditions, okay? So again, here, I'm just gonna show you the data. I'm gonna make an eight by eight composite for each individual person, all of their different lighting conditions. And all of that data is gonna go into this big X matrix. Um, each of these are gonna be reshaped into tall, skinny vectors that are gonna be the columns of X. And so if I run this, you find essentially, uh, let me see if I can go down, good. These are the 64 images for person one. You can see that there's all of these different images where they go from kind of full lighting to almost full shadow to half shadow and so on and so forth. And we actually have these for all of the people. For every single one of those 36 people, we have this uh, massive, massive, massive library of all of these different shadow conditions. And that's what's going to go into this matrix X. That's what we're going to use to compute our eigenfaces decomposition. Okay, so that's coming up next. Thank you.